All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the day. It is the day to build our engine and our car. So it is very exciting. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started by uh, fulfilling all of our basic needs, uh, such as our urine, hunger, thirst, fatigue, and dirtiness. I'll go ahead and, and uh, piss all the little pebbles out. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this door here. <clears throat> Uh, it's getting a little dark. Um, we'll go ahead and I've got my food and I've actually put it all in here now. So I'm going to um, eat these sausages. I'm going to crack open a beer. Open my door. Ooh, what was that? Oh. Where'd my beer go? No! Littering. Okay. So... <coughs> I did say that I would. I wanted to start on the engine, I think, last episode, guys. Um, I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit here. Um, let's see. First of all, let's check my sauna. I hear it. Let's see if my water is in there. Nice. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill up this uh, bucket of water. Or water bucket. Alright, that's coming along nicely. So yeah, our fatigue is about halfway. I'm not too, too worried about that. We can sleep when it's uh, pitch black and uh, wake up to a nice morning. So right now we're going to go ahead and close that door. Is that closed? Okay. There's a crack? Hmm. Okay. Go ahead and pick up our dipper and equip it, and we're going to get clean. Yes, wash the dirtiness away. And as you can see, our dirtiness meter is slowly falling. Good stuff. Did that work? Okay. And yeah, the, the, the long part about this, guys, is just waiting for the sauna to, to heat up. So uh, just, you know, kind of pre preheat it whenever you're at the house and stuff like that. Always, you know, try to make sure you can come in here and, oh, damn it, and uh, hit these levers to keep it uh, max speed and max strength and all that good stuff. And uh, if you do that, then yeah, you just have to come in here every once in a while, and your shit's good to go, and you can get clean. So now our dirtiness meter is zero. Uh, we'll go ahead and get out of here. Let's turn that spigot off. Okay. So, what do? What do? <laughs> Let's go ahead and use this uh, mosquito spray. And does that kill it? Okay, it stopped the uh, noise in its tracks. Okay. Let's see how that goes. So... Here is our Setsma. Yeah, it's, it's very faint. It's not as bad now. Sounds good. So, why is my engine block back down here? I think shifts, or stuff shifts, I think. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Okay, or maybe I just drank too much last night. But, uh, yeah, this is a morning episode, guys, so I do apologize if I'm a, a little... Um, it's actually going to be kind of hard to commentate this one because I'll need to be focusing. So I do apologize if this is not as a, you know, uh, entertaining of a let's play. But I think this is the meat and bones of where we're supposed to be here. So we're going to go ahead and throw our uh, <laughs> components because we don't care about our durability. And uh, work smarter, not harder. Get our wishbones out there. We're going to go ahead and set up the uh, suspension here first. Uh, just so that when I am finished with the uh, engine, I can just drop her in. And I don't have to worry about uh, installing all that other stuff first. So, let's see, go ahead and put the steering rack there. My half shafts. Pretty much, you know, splitting it up in, into what side it needs to be in. Uh, here's my struts. And we'll leave the rear suspension components right here for now. Let's go ahead and start with my subframe. Right, I'm going to pop this one in. This just goes right here at the bottom of the... Um, of the frame <laughs> of the uh, engine block, I guess we're gonna call that your engine bay. So we've got that in. We will need to go ahead and get our um, tools, which have paints on them. Okay. Oops. Can I just? Okay. Cool. Cool beans. So we'll go ahead and drop her right here. And go ahead and get all this stuff uh, where we need to get it. So boom. Uh, Strain rack right there. Right strut. And yeah, just getting everything set up, guys. So in total, for your uh, front suspension, you are going to need your half shafts, your wishbones, your uh, disc brakes, um, your spindles, your steering rods, as well as the steering... Oh, shit. 
the steering column or rack right here and uh, that will be the uh, bones of your uh, suspension so we'll go ahead and open this up uh, oh I am spilling ashes everywhere hold on one second guys <laughs> all right so we've got our subframe in let's uh figure out it's pretty big I want to go for the 11 it's gonna go for the 11 and there's gonna be four bolts here for the subframe that doesn't look like it's it let's try the 10 let's try, yeah there we go Go ahead and pop in here so we can see. Oh, we need some tunes, guys. We need some tunage. We just got the radio of some uh, <laughs> some coyotes and shit going on, which is pretty cool. Uh, where's this one at? Let's think logistically. Here we go. Saw it right there. Right where? Right there. Okay. Screw all four of these in. So step one: subframe, four um, uh, ten bolts. Or four bolts using your ten, um, your ten wrench. So we've got that in. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. I guess we'll start on the left side. Let's go and get this spindle on. And actually, spindle is not what we do. Spindle is not what we do. We do the wishbones first. Okay, the wishbones will connect to our subframe via two little thingies. Is this the same? No. Let's try. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah. Alright, we've got two bolts right here. Okay, now we can connect our spindle. Alright, and man, it's dark. It is dark. What we can do here. You have a flashlight. Uh, don't be afraid to work in the dark like, like I initially was. There oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought I kicked the, uh, <laughs> I thought I kicked the part from the shadow. I was like, oh no. <laughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll set this one right here so that we have a view. All right? There we go. So, not too bad. Uh, what were we doing? The spindle. Okay, the spindle. Uh, these are bigger bolts, if I remember correctly. Or if there's actually one in there. I'm going to try the 11. No, nope. let's go with the 12. And I'm going to bring you closer. Okay. Uh, I gotta find where it's at. Pretty, yep. Okay. All right. So we've got the spindle installed. Just one 12 uh, millimeter. Um, let's see. We can go now with our where's our shit? Our disc brake, which will pop right into the end of the spindle right here. Boom. And we're not going to tighten this. This is also one nut, and it's like a 14, I believe, or maybe a 15. We're not going to tighten that until we get our half shaft installed. So our half shaft will go right here. Let's see if I can get it. Yep. Boom. So now we've got that in. So with the 14. We'll go ahead and tighten in that disc brake which will secure the half shaft as well. Okay? So boom. Not too not too crazy. Not too crazy. Next we'll go ahead and put our steering rod in. This will connect at an angle if I remember correctly, is it? I think it's this way. Yeah. And then we'll try to get it right here. It's kind of a weird fit. Um, get inside here. Try this way. Where does it go? Where does it go? Maybe it's the other way around. Um, I, maybe I'm wrong here. See, this is the front left, okay? And I'm pretty sure it's this direction because I've got to bolt it down here. See? But where am I missing? Oh, maybe do I need to do the frame, the, the steering rack first? Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to do the steering rack first. Maybe that's why. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I'm with it. Go ahead and pop this in. Yep. Okay. These are smaller ones. Oh, where's my shit? Let's try the 11. Oh, 10. Really? Must be the 9. Yep. Okay, so we got four bolts, 9 millimeter bolts here on our steering rack. Go ahead and torque those in. Oh, there's an owl. Cool, cool. Yeah, a lot of wildlife noise. Really cool. 
But we're gonna go ahead and get our radio, cause yeah. <laughs> it is dark. It is a late, late Finland summer evening. Let's so we'll go ahead and pop it right here. Oh no! I need to hear the jams. Okay. Hopefully that's not too loud. <clears throat> yeah, this is not a uh, smoking the cigarettes not working. Okay. Go ahead and pop the. Did I get everything in? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, so now let's try this half shaft, or not the half shaft, but our string rod. Oh, I just saw it. Will you let me? Just let me. There we go. Boom. Wait to uh, torque down your um, your steering rods until you get your struts in, because you're gonna have to connect that to your strut. So let's go ahead and get that. What happened? Oh, our <laughs> beer just phased through the roof of our car. Okay, well that's just letting us uh, know that we need to drink a beer. All right. So we've got that in there. We've got to keep an eye on some time. I I don't want this to go on for too too long, but we got to do what we got to do. Okay, so we've got that in. Let's go ahead and get our strut in. Go in like this if I remember. Actually, it might be the opposite way. But this is gonna, boom, raise this right here. Okay, so now we've got our um, our strut in. So now we're gonna have to find out. There's that one bolt from our uh, thingy right here, which can connect in. Be careful which one you're tightening. As you see, there's also a, a bolt or a little nut right here. This will adjust your um, your um. Oh God, what is it? Your alignment for your wheels. So try not to do that until you get both sides on. Then once you've got that on and you're ready to adjust it, you'll just kind of have to eyeball it. There's no real, uh, you know, perfect way of doing it, I don't think, right now. So yeah, just eyeball it and get that one in. So the struts. The struts have a decent amount of bolts in them. There should be four here. These use the 9mm, so go ahead and torque those down. Yeah, selecting things can be a bit of an issue sometimes. Okay. And make sure you get everything in, guys. Don't leave it one click loose or something like that, because I'm sure you will have problems down the road. So. Oh, give it to me. Okay. So we've got all four of those in. Now I believe there are three up top. Yes. Uh, wait. I think I'm missing one. Am I missing one? Mm. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Alright, screw it, screw it. Uh, we'll just do the top. Okay, we'll bolt these three down. Now, it looks like my... Oh yeah, this is damaged for some reason. That's That sucks. We'll have to go to the repair shop and get our body fixed. Uh, right now, I'm just focused on getting this thing up and running. All right, so that's that. I believe this will finish up our um, our left side. So let's go ahead and get started on the other. Get our goodies here, our light. Let's go ahead and adjust that a little bit. All right, there, perfect. Okay, so we've got this here. Let's go ahead and get everything going. So first things first, uh, we've got our, uh, <clears throat> oh wait, we need our wishbones. <laughs> I always forget the wishbone. Now look how rusty it is. Okay. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And then this is just the 10. I know, I get it, I get it. You're not balanced, I get it. Okay. Spindle. Okay. Let's get this thingy over here. Oops. Sorry, sorry, dude. I gotta, I gotta be careful with that. <laughs> I've really got to be careful doing all that. Okay, so with our, uh, what is it, the spindle on, we need, um, the 10 is not going to fit, is it? No, I think it was a 12. Yes. Alright, there's one for that. Our disc brake is next. Remember, don't uh, bolt it until you've got your half shaft installed. Boom. And then it was a 14. All right, that's in. And then our steering rod. Hmm. 
Come on, come on. Come on! <laughs> okay, there we go. And the strut. Oh, just be nice. Just be nice. Oh, it's actually the other way around. Okay, that's why. No worries, no worries. Um, what was it? I think it was a 10. No, it was a 9 for the for the strut. It's for right here. Okay. And we've got 3 and 4. Make sure this one's all the way in. Okay, and then this one. Ah, oh, shit. What was it, like a 12? As you can see, once you finally completely bolt it down, it'll shift a little bit to, uh, yeah. I can't remember what these were. Were they 10s? Yeah. Okay. So, there we go, guys. Um, that is the front suspension. Actually, I think we need to put in our steering column first to, to technically be complete with that. But, um, yeah, that's 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 it. We just got to put our tires on. So, um, let's go ahead and get the steering column in. This just goes in as you would assume it goes in. Right here. Ish. Yeah. Oh man, I can't see a damn thing. Can't see a damn thing. Okay. Um Wow, it's super, super dark. Maybe we should just yeah, let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep here. Um And yeah, that, that bug spray and the sauna combination, guys. Um it's really good. Yeah, I'm not really noticing the, the mosquitoes as much. So Right, nice bright summer day. Cool. That's unplugged. Uh, do we need anything here? Let's go ahead and take a pee. <laughs> Where's my button? We're finally making progress, guys. It feels good. It feels really good. I hope you've all. Uh, I want to thank you guys <laughs> first for sticking with me for so long. If you've been watching this series just to get to this part, uh, so you can figure out how to do it, uh, I do appreciate you joining me on my journey. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty tough, man. There's a lot of competition out there. Uh, this game's been out for you know a while, and there's a lot of competition out there uh, with YouTube videos and stuff like that. And there's probably a lot better videos out there if I'm going to be honest with you. But hopefully you enjoy my sense of humor and my uh, my narration and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. There we go. Okay, steering column is in. There's two, if I remember, hopefully remember correctly, two bolts. Uh, let's go ahead. Get this a little closer. Now, where are the bolts is what I'm concerned with. Um, they would probably be in here, yeah? Yeah, right there. So yeah, one, two. Let's try the ten. Oh, we have the ten. Let's try the nine. Wait, is that it? Huh. Let's go in. Let's see. That's not it. Uh, maybe it's not the nine. Hmm. Try the eight. There we go. Oh man. Okay, one and two. So that will secure our steering column. Okay. So good to go there, yeah. So I'm. Pretty sure, yeah. That's the uh, that's the front. That's the front. Can we turn this off? Yeah. Go ahead and put this away. Right here. Okay. So now we can go and start on our uh, our rear suspension here. So go ahead and get our trail arm. Boom, boom. Drum brakes, both sides. And our shock absorbers, both sides. And of course the coil springs. Careful, those those will bounce sometimes if you throw them. <laughs> so, all right. So one, two, three, four. About you or me? <laughs> okay. So, what the hell is that? Is that a shadow? What is that? What in the shit is that? Strange. I think it's a. 
I think it's a shadow. I'm not, I don't care. Who cares? <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. On our rear suspension, we're going to go ahead and get our trail arms here. So there's a bolt in about here. I'm always backwards. I'm ass backwards. Okay. I believe there are two in here. Uh, these are bigger ones. Let's try it. can't see anything, man. Okay, yeah. Two big ones. Two big 12 millimeters right here. Let me find it. Yep. Yeah, lifting the car definitely makes the uh, suspension build a little easier. Um, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to take the, any kind of risk or anything. Did I tighten that half shaft over there? Oh, I don't think I did. I did, okay. Good for me, good for me. Okay. So we've got uh, both of those uh, installed. Let's go with our, uh, which is, yeah, coil spring right here. This is a little bit of a tight fit. You kind of got to get it in a in a good position here. So if you look in, you kind of want it on that black thing right there. You see? And boom, that will spring that right up. Be careful. I've died before being like way too close and then like having the, the suspension pop in place and then like somehow getting under the car and I've died. So hopefully they fix that. But yeah, just be careful. Uh, that will not require anything. As you see, it's using its own... Uh, weight or whatever t as to suspend it in place, so we don't have to put that in there. Let's go ahead and get our drum brake in. Boom. And the drum brake, you can actually go ahead and uh, get in there. I think it's uh, 14, just like we have, yeah, just like the uh, front disc brakes. So boom, that's in place. And our shock absorber, which is a little nassle, uh, we'll go ahead and pick it up, Ken. Oop. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is opposite way it's supposed to be, but wait. Uh, okay. Actually, it was the right way. Cool beans. So, uh, there's going to be a couple of bolts on this one. Oop, got a phone call. Actually, we're going to make a quick cut here, guys. Uh, this is probably running on a little bit long, so uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, join us next time. We're going to get started, uh, finish with the suspension, and start on the engine build. Thanks, guys.